Okay, hello there fellow Tamashefs. This level is a pain in the butt. It took me so long after I finished my playthrough to beat this level meeting all the objectives. I managed to hit 100% efficiency so I'm gonna walk through it real quick. The reason why this level is evil is that the orders are not pre predictable meaning that you can't create a model to simulate the orders. It's different every time you run it. You might have side salads one time, you might not. You might have a lot of beach burgers, you might not. So it's a pain. Anyways, here's what I did. The family, the small family meal is just set to run automatically. So the dispensers for the egg, the bread, and the chicken are set to 13 seconds. That was the best time I could come up with. Potato set to 26 because you need two fried chickens per one fry. They all go into one fryer, because I gotta save energy somehow. And it gets loaded into the packager, which makes fried chicken and fries. And it goes through here to the other packager, which makes the combo meal. Now here for the side salad, I have a set to 15 seconds for each ingredient for lettuce, carrot, and tomato. Goes through one processor, into the assembler, into a storage unit. And upon a side salad order or a small family meal order coming in, the respective arms activate and put in one order each. Now, so you might miss a few orders, but it can't be helped. And then for the beach burger, it is made to order. So every time an order comes in, you got one mushroom coming out, three patties, one tomato, one burger bun. Everything here is set to power efficient mode, the grills, the assemblers. Other than this one fryer, uh, if you put it to power saving mode, you will just fail the level. So everything else set to power saving. And here, I did something a little bit new with this order reader. I have it set so the assembler activates when an order comes in, and then the fryer turns on when the order comes in. Now the reason why I did that is, these orders will come out. I mean, these ingredients will come out automatically. Let's just wait here until an order comes in and then it'll pop into the fryer. It's kind of stopping it from overproducing chicken. Anyways, let's give it a run and see if we can get it to work this time. <laughs> it's a little iffy. If I can't, I'll have to run it again until it works. So, by far, this is the most difficult order. I mean, level that I played. So as you can see here, the ingredients stockpile here until the order comes in, in which case the assembler will activate, put the chicken in the fryer. As you can see, the potatoes and the fried chicken fight for the fryer. Um, it's split 50-50 so far, so that's why it works. I'm lucky though. Uh, you will eventually fail an order or two. Now, if you're unlucky and you fail more than two orders, you might not complete the level in time. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> so again, here's where the RNG comes into play. Sometimes 15 seconds isn't enough for the side salad because there's a bunch of, you know, small family meals or side salad orders. Sometimes there isn't. So you got a, a abundance of side salads that just spoil. So it's all based on luck. The beach burger will never fail though. It's set so that it's pretty slow, but it'll never miss an order. Probably gonna miss a small family meal. Uh, one's nearing completion, but here we go. And here is the final stretch. If you can make it to 40 with the energy usage. Oh man, it's cutting it awfully close. <laughs> come on, come on game. Don't do this to me. Here we go, we did it. <laughs> oh my god, we did it. Alright, this is level 12, peer pressure. I met all of the objectives and got 100% efficiency. Holy cow, I don't know how much time I spent on it after my playthrough. I, mu I might have spent like legitimately two hours trying to figure this out. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope this helps and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch my playthrough, the link will be in the description below. If you want to see anything or need help on anything, please feel free to let me know in the comments below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and once again, see you guys next time. <laughs>